What's up everyone, back for another beer review, and today is the third and final voiceover beer review that I am doing because my microphone broke and the audio for the last three reviews did not record. So it's been pretty fun, so let's continue it. This is the last one, and this beer comes from Hot Butcher for the World, and they are out of Chicago, Illinois, and this is their Super Megabyte. It is a Citra, and Amarillo Hopped Triple IPA. It comes in at 10.5% alcohol by volume. No IBUs listed in time of review. This can was approximately five weeks old. I want to give a huge thanks and shout out once again to Hot Butcher for hooking me up with this one, so big thanks to them. In the description box, I'll post a link to the beer mail video I did. It contains all the goodies they hooked me up with. I'm really excited about this one, and I said that in in the review because I've had their regular Megabyte, which is the 7.5% double IPA. Uh, now, I've reviewed that one. I actually had that one off camera. I really dig it. The problem I have with regular Megabyte, however, is that it leans sweet. So now you're going to ramp up the ABV by 3%. You get into triple uh, IPA uh, territory. And what does that mean? It's probably going to be sweeter. Hopefully, if they can balance this out a little bit, we will see. Um, I love the Jaws reference on the bottom of the can, which I uh, read off there. It just says we need a bigger boat. And uh, yeah, anyway, so as you can see, I'm pouring this one out. And one thing I've noticed from a lot of Hot Butcher beers recently is they, they've been foaming up on me. And whenever I get their boxes, I throw them right into the fridge. Typically, I just do like a uh, reveal of the beers they send my way out or even do a proper unboxing. I just kind of show you guys because I want to get them right into the fridge because typically they're hot forward. But I would say like every other beer from them foams up. Uh, the carbonation usually isn't crazy, but it's definitely foamy. And you can see here, look at that beer. It's half foam, half beer. Uh, it looks beautiful in the glass, though. Um, has that milky, honey orange color that you kind of expect from Hot Butcher at this point. And uh, yeah, about a three finger uh, off white, super creamy look at head. I love the artwork too of both Megabyte and Super Megabyte. I mean, it's Hot Butcher. Their artwork's usually uh, fantastic. And a lot of people mention it in their reviews. I typically don't, but I do like the theme to both of these beers. Now I go in for the nose here. And the first thing I notice is really sweet, over-ripened tropical and stone fruits. It's definitely, you can smell, like you go in there and you're like, this is going to be sweet. And this is going to be sweeter probably than Megabyte. And again, I liked Megabyte a lot, but it was quite sweet. The mouthfeel, awesome. Uh, you know, fruity characters and whatnot. It's just It was really sweet. So I'm kind of worried about this one. But yeah, overripe in pineapple, peach, apricot, mango. There's some soft citrus fruits in there. Orange, grapefruit. Uh, there's also a nice like big herbaceous kind of earthiness as well, which is welcomed. And I was hoping that that would be something that kind of, you know, balances it out as I go in for a sip here momentarily. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it definitely smells sweet. It, it leans sweet. You can tell it's going to be a sweeter, uh, excuse me, triple IPA. On the nose, really getting no alcohol stringency, which is, you know, par for the course when it comes to hot butcher triples. Uh, but yeah, I really enjoy the nose here. I just know going into it right here, it's going to be sweet. So I take a sip. What's the first thing I say? You'll watch for the reaction here. Yeah, it's sweet. Oh, yeah. Yeah, wow, that's sweet. Wow, that is sweet indeed. So it does have a pretty big sweetness on the first sip. And again, the two, two things I always say about triple IPAs, I want them to you know, not be overly sweet, and I also want them to hide the alcohol. So after that first sip, definitely sweet. The alcohol, they hide it extremely well in this beer. We'll talk about that in a couple minutes. But yeah, i show you how nice the beer looks. I go back in for a sip. We're going to start talking about the body here now. Some of their triple IPAs are sometimes a little bit lower body. Not this one. This has a lower to medium full body. Like it has a big heft to it. You know it's a little bit thicker. The mouthfeel is fucking phenomenal. It's soft. It's smooth. It's creamy. It's what you want uh, from a triple IPA. At least it's what I want from a triple IPA. So the body, fantastic. The mouthfeel, amazing. But then we start dissecting this beer and kind of getting in to uh, the actual tasting notes and the sweetness and whatnot. And it's sweet. It is. It's, there's really no hiding it. Um, I get pineapple. I get peach. I get mango. A little bit of tangerine, orange, sweet grapefruit on the palate. Because the beer is so sweet, all of those fruity characteristics are really uh, encompassing the sweet part of the fruit and the juice. Let's say juicy. It's very juicy. It's very sweet, very fruity. But there's really like there's no there's no um, pithiness. There's no zestiness. There's none of that. Um, right there, you can say a peach, mango pineapple, all kinds of different stuff going on. I sit there and I try to figure out, I say, what is that? Because I don't know exactly what that is. And I don't think I ever actually specify what that is because I try to figure it out. So you can see, 
orange tangerine. I just start going with generic citrus fruits. I might have been getting like a little bit of kiwi. A lot of times when I go, what's that? I, I It's kiwi or lychee. It's fruits that I don't eat all that regularly, but, you know, it takes my mind a while to process it. On the back of the palate is a pass-through, dank, earthy hop note on the finish, but it's only mildly bitter and it, it has like a semi-dry finish. It doesn't do enough to balance out the beer as much as I would have hoped it, it, it could have. Uh, again, Megabyte lean sweet at seven and a half this definitely lean sweet at ten and a half um it's a really good triple ipa but after having cosmic mountain from them and posting that review you'll probably see that like a, a week before this one the simple fact of the matter is that beer blows this beer away in my opinion but this is still a really good triple it's just put it this way if you like really sweet triple ipas i can't see you not enjoying this but if you're somebody who needs a balance to your triple ipas yeah, this is, this is not for you because it definitely is sweet. This would be 100% one and done beer. And when I say that, a lot of people give me shit because uh, they're like, it's 10.5%. Of course it is. What I mean is if I wanted to drink a couple cans of this, I really couldn't. It's just too much. By the last three or four ounces of this can, I'm just, I was pretty much like, yeah, I'm done with this. Um, again, it hides the alcohol extremely well. So you can't really tell you're drinking a 10.5% beer from the alcohol standpoint, but the body, the mouthfeel, all the flavors indicate this is a bigger beer. If I was doing a blind, I'd guess at least nine, if not 10. Um, it's just really sweet. Like, I, there's not much more to say, honestly, on this side. I wish I could sit here and, uh, you know, tell you exactly what I'm saying right here, but it's pretty much at the end of the day, it comes down that I love the taste of it. Like, the actual flavors are great. It's just too sweet. That's what it comes down to. Most simplistic way to put it, just too sweet. Um, it's not cloying. Don't get me wrong. There's a difference between, to, to me, being like overly sweet and then like cloying where it's almost undrinkable, a couple sips. I drank the rest of that can. It's just too sweet for me in general. So um, trying to figure out what I'm saying here. I do, I do ramble a lot, man. I need to get that shit under control. I'm going to work on that. I'm going to work on that. Uh, I definitely am. I want to get my reviews instead of more in the eight to 10 minute range, like the typical hour, maybe try to get in like the six to eight range. Uh, we'll see. I don't know. You guys know I like to talk. So you watch the channel, you expect what you expect. And plus most people watch about half of the review anyway, probably skip right to when I take my first sip or maybe when I start smelling the beer, probably don't watch the ending. So, you know, whatever. Um, I will say I do like Megabyte more than this because of the sweetness in here. I gave Megabyte like I think a 4.2, 4.25, 4.3, somewhere in that range. I didn't go back to my review to watch it exactly. I just know when I'm tapped to give 4.25. I give this one uh, a lower score uh, lower score for sure. Um, at some point, I will pick up the can and uh, show you guys, and we will give it a score here. So I end up giving this beer a uh, high 4 out of 5 and go 4.05. I think I knocked it down about a quarter point. Had to, just too sweet. Um, it's definitely a good beer. It's just one that I probably wouldn't, revisit as far as their triple ipas go just because sweetness so i start to read the can here the three tasting notes are bright citrus which is what i'm talking about here which yeah i can see the bright citrus next is pleasant pine i did not get pine therefore it wasn't pleasant therefore i did not get that at all and then the last tasting note is ripe tropical which you know encompasses a bunch of stuff but i basically said over ripe and pineapple and like peach and stuff and that's definitely so i give them two out of the three the pleasant pine i did not get if i would have got some kind of like resinous pine or some kind of like firm bitterness on the back end or this just wasn't overly sweet i would have loved this beer but uh price point and availability these are typically 18 to 19 bucks a four pack in chicagoland if it gets distro probably around the 20 to 22 range and hot butcher wherever you can get their stuff nowadays a lot of people are seeing drops of a can or two here and there so be on the lookout a lot of people go i can't get hot butcher who knows maybe in the next six months you'll be able to get your hands on stuff maybe even sooner who knows anyway thanks to hot butcher thanks to everybody stopping by for another beer review here on the beer patrol hopefully you'll enjoy these voiceover reviews i have anyway at least i got to salvage the videos and uh it was kind of fun making them we'll see if i hopefully i never have to do it again because you know anyway cheers